Around the 21st century BCE lived a man named Haik, who along with his forefathers had migrated south towards warmer lands in Babylon. One day, the king of Babylon, Bel, declared himself a king over the entire world. Haig refused to submit, so he rose up and led his people of at least 300 northward towards the mountains of Ararat. Along the way, he left a detachment in another settlement with his grandson Kadmos. Then, Haig settled near the mountain of Ararat, a village called Haigashen. Bel sent one of his sons to convince Haig to return but was refused, so he decided to march against him with a massive force. But Haig was warned ahead of time by his grandson Kadmos, so he assembled his own army along the shore of Lake Van and told them that they must defeat and kill Bel or die trying to do so rather than become his slaves. Haig and his men soon discovered Bel's army positioned in a mountain pass with the king leading the way in the front. And in 2107 BCE, Haig slew Bel with a nearly impossible shot using a long bow, sending the king's forces into disarray. He then embalmed the corpse of Bel and ordered it to be buried in a high place in the view of the wives and sons of the king. Soon after, Haig established the fortress of Haigapert at the battle site and he named the site Hayotzor, which means Valley of the Armenians. This story was passed down through generations until the 5th century when Moses of Choren, a prominent Armenian historian, wrote about it in his History of Armenia book at the request of Prince Zahak of the Bakraduni dynasty. The Bakraduni dynasty was one of the many Armenian royal houses who claimed to trace their genealogy back to Haik. According to the Georgian prince and historian Juan Cher, Haik was a prince of the seven brothers and stood in service to the giant Nimrod, also known as Bel, who first ruled the entire world as king, which could explain why Bel would care so much about Haik emigrating in the first place. And that is how most Armenians believe that their nation was born.